Make sure to like and subscribe in the next five seconds. You guys will actually face the next five years of bad luck. Time's ticking. Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually make some fire montages and um, how to edit them. The stuff I'm going to be showing you guys today is a totally free software. You don't have to pay any money for it. And um, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use it and also add RSMB, which is basically like motion blur if you guys do want to add that. And uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into the video, guys. Alright, guys, so um, the editing software that we're going to be using for this video is called HitFilm Express 14. It's totally free, and there's like a special, there's like a thing that you have to do with um, to actually get no watermark. I'll, link, I'll leave the link to the video I found out in the description down below for you guys to actually check it out. It's like super easy, it takes like a few minutes just to remove the watermark. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to click new, and right here, you're going to click find your project settings so we're just going to change that to 1080p full hd 60 fps you can change it depending on whatever you guys want i just like 1080p full 60 and then yeah everything else 48,000 hertz audio it's okay let's start it's going to take a bit to load up um all right so now that we have loaded up um the first thing that we're actually going to want to do is um, click on import media and you guys want to choose a song. So I'm going to go down here and hold on, let me just find this song real quick. Here. Let's import the song. Uh, it's a song called by Ryan called Dream Girl. And then we'll put this in. Boom. And yeah, so this is basically where your song is going to want to be. You want to put your song on the second thing called audio right there. So, um,. Yeah, now, basically what we're going to do is, um, so what I personally do, I have my intro, you know, the like and subscribe in the next five seconds type stuff. But, um, yeah, if you guys don't want to do that, you can just import some of your, um, clips, like, from the start, from the beginning. And I basically like to have, like, a free build clip in the start, which I feel like that starts off pretty well. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with a free build clip, and what I want to do is, I don't want to... I want to make sure the free build clip doesn't go like into the um, the actual beat drop. Because I want to make sure my my actual first clip is on sync with the beat drop, and I'll teach you guys how to do that. So basically, what I want to do is so I want to get start with my free build. So it's gonna be right here. So basically, you want to cut your video where you know, your clip basically. So, so my videos are all 45 seconds. They're all my clips. I have to cut that. So I just click this button right here. Boom! It cuts it. And now. Um, so I don't want it to go on for the full length, so I'm going to cut it right around here. Um, yeah, we'll cut it like right around here. Boom. And now it cuts right there. So if we play it, you guys can hear. Yeah, so right there. So now drop comes right right around here so that's where I want my my first clip to go so all right so now basically I want my next clip to act to be on the beat drop so basically I'll teach you guys how to quickly do that real quick so go on and put your clip of course and you know the beat drop can come around here so that means the shot has to be like right on like on this beat drop so I'm gonna cut my clip right I'm gonna cut it and then put it like around here maybe and I, it's basically trial and error to see like how much you have to cut your clip to actually you know, be on sync with the beat. So I'm gonna test it out. Yeah. Alright, so see that the song happens before the shot actually happens. So that means I have to cut my clip a bit more. So I'm just gonna cut a bit more. Boom. And now let's see. Alright. This, the song still happened before the clip, so I'm just gonna cut it a bit, a bit more. Boom. And I'll try it again. Alright, right there, I cut it a bit too much, so now I gotta bring it back. Cut it like there, maybe. Boom. I cut it too much again. So now I'm just gonna go back. Cut it like right there, I think. And this should be good. Alright, so right there, it's on beat. So right now, we'll play it again, from the beginning. Hey. 
Alright, so that's basically how you get your clips on beat. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually um, add some effects. Alright guys, so um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually add some effects to your clips, which is um, which makes the montage just look a lot cooler and more appealing to watch. So basically we're gonna um, just double click this and then um, so I just wanna cut like the beginning part of the first clip. This is just for the first clip only guys, because I wanna like do like kind of an intro to the montage. So I'm gonna like cut it right around Put it like right around here, and then so what I mean, we're gonna slice it. So you right click, hit slice, and then um, what you guys want to do? Press Control, and then scroll wheel up, and then you scroll in, it just zooms in on it, and then you double click this again. Click on Effects, and then basically what you guys want to go down to is Transitions. So we're gonna go to Transitions, and then you're gonna go down to um, Zoom. And it should say fade to color. So I'm gonna take this, drag that onto this. So boom, it should, it's gonna fade in right here. And what I want to do is also is to slow down this clip. So it's gonna go from it's gonna slow and then go to the uh, regular like motion of the clip. So what you what basically what you have to do to slow it down is um, right click on this clip right here, press speed slash duration, and then I'm just gonna bring this down to like 60%. So it's gonna be 60% of the original speed. Boom. And now we can. And now it slows down in the start and then starts the clip. Or starts the montage. And also, um, um, let me scroll out real quick. So that's basically how, um, like an effect you can have for the beginning clip of the montage. And you can also um, add different like color effects if you want to go into like, you know, behaviors, um, channel color correction, color reading, and stuff. And now I'm gonna teach you guys. Um, I'll show you guys a different effect you guys can use for like beat drops and stuff. But I like these. So basically, what you're gonna do is um, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna find right when the shot happens. Boom. So it's like right around here. All right, so right here, I'm gonna right click again, slice it so it becomes two separate clips. I'm gonna double click this, go to effects, and then go to um, lights and flares. And then click on the glow effect, and bring this here, and it brings like a glow when the beat drop happens. So look, so it's like a glow. And also, what I like to do it like to slow this down. I'll put this down to like seventy percent, and I'll just cut this a bit just because like, I feel like the ending is a bit too long. Put the wrong side. Um, boom, and then there. Shots on B and there's an extra effect. All right, so now on to the um, motion blur effect, the R S M B. What everyone uh, or a lot of people want to see. Um, basically, it's pretty simple to do. You infer this editing software. Let's just go to blurs, um, in the effects column right here, and then you find motion blur, and then you just drag it and then put onto that, and it should add the motion blur effect. Back. And then we hold on. You need to go to here and click on custom settings first. And um, turn the shutter angle all the way up to like 300. 300. I'm just gonna change that to 300 in the number right here. And then basically, I'm just gonna go to like a preview of it. I can't even go to the. I can't even check the preview of it. Oh, my bad. But basically, if you like. Play like this it's gonna look super laggy it's because like it's not rendered yet but um obviously once you do render it's gonna look really nice as you guys can see from my previous videos and um but also it's gonna take a really long time for this to render so if you guys want to like a fully render montage with motion blur all across the video um it's gonna take a probably around an hour and a half to two hours but depending on your pc strength as well but uh yeah if you guys do want to add motion blur you're gonna have to wait like probably two hours for the render and um, if you guys don't want it, you guys probably have to wait like probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes for the render to finish, which isn't too bad. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'll leave a link in the, down below for the, in the description to download this and also how to remove the watermark. Um, so yeah, see you all in the next one. It is GoPraf signing off.